went on a little bit of a buying spree. Oops. Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And Winning Image Photography. So a bit of a buying spree in the later half of September and October. Um, for those that have been following my Malone Leve series, this is the Type 7, the 2 ounce version. And of course, we were extremely late in getting this. Could not find it anywhere on any online bullion dealer site. Had to get it off eBay. Paid $90 for this. Had I been able to see it right away, I would have been able to order that for 60 some dollars. I understand silver's gone up right around the $25 mark, but today then it took a big tumble and was down 24 and who knows where it's going to now. So it's just very volatile the price of silver it's made physical silver really hard to get and unfortunately it made that one there it cost me a lot of money i plan on doing this coin down by the river somewhere we always have done the mullen laves i just wanted to show you i did get that we featured that in the music video just recently also got the 2020 antigua and barbuda rum runner i like coins with ships on it so we had to get that one and that's got the Queenie on the back. Let's go back to this side. My favorite of the sides. And yeah, that's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice round there. Mm-hmm. Shiny. Yeah, it is. And I got a couple of these. I don't think I have all of them yet, but I, I might, I might be close. And you know, I'm backtracking a little bit because of the pandemic. I backed off for a little bit. I still wanted to get some of the series stuff that I had been getting. This is the 2020 South Korean Chuwoo. You know, I, I, I probably have to say out of all the ones so far that I've gotten, that's my least favorite. I'm not really a, not a huge fan of this one, but got to get it, put it in the collection. I'm also not a huge fan of smooth sides. I like the reeded edges. So, but I understand this coin and the aftermarket on them. And so I think I've got to get the first year one yet. And I think then I'll have at least one of every one. So I had to get that. And lo and behold, we are having a hard time trying to find a capsule that fits that. I don't know if it's due to the thickness, whatever. It's just been a pain in the butt. So it's loose for now. And then, hey, hey Steve Rice's favorite. He's not a really big fan of the, the Germanian oak leaves. So what did I do to fulfill in order to get the free shipping? I went ahead and got me an oak leaf. <laughs> but I do like the Germanian mint and I like the big design of that double headed eagle. So I needed to get, you know, I thought, why not put one in there? That's the rest of the mullen leaves. I just got them out because of that one there. That really isn't a new purchase. This is a friend of mine at work. A little toned. A Titanic. Ship coin. A ship coin. So really, really like that one. There's the COA. Or how many does it say that's uh, minted on there? I forget off the top of my head. I think it's like 10,000. 10,000 minted. Anyway, I really, really like both sides. I really like the grand staircase here. That is just full of nice detail on there. So sold to me for 20 bucks. This was, this actually happened, I think pre-pandemic. And I just no, never really after. got just slightly after. So silver had gone down to the fourteen dollar range or I think so. It was and, July, right? July. July. And, I, don't know. I just forget that one a little bit. Uh, the Queen's Beast. We have gotten the last two of those. She'll bring in the other one. So the White Han Horse of Hanover and the Gray Hound of Richmond are the last two, this being the last one. I have been doing videos on each one of these where I take it to three different places. We still have plans on doing that. We're trying to find a white horse to shoot behind the white horse on purpose. So, and we don't know, you know, we, we do these, we'll, we'll take them to both places, shoot them all up and then have standalone videos for each one of them. Um, we just don't know exactly where we're going yet. The weather hasn't been cooperating with us and fall is not quite peak yet. 
and we'd really like to get the fall in there. Oh, hey. Winning Image for Photography and I just celebrated nine years together. So I went and got her some gold. And yes, you can see there's a little damage at the top of this gold. And that's because it used to be in a bezel. And the guy thought it would be worth more if he took it out and it was soldered in. So he just started creaking on it. Yep, so it's damaged, but we got it for the damaged price of 150 Paid 150 for that. Let's break it out of there. It is a large head, um, the Indian princess. It's a U.S. coin. Oh, well, that brings that in there. It's not bad. I don't know really the weights. We can figure that out and all. I know there's some people out there doing the 100-piece gold challenge. Something I'm thinking of doing. This would count towards that. Damaged or not, you know, I got it at melt or a little bit below at the time. So not a bad little piece of gold to put into the stack. Um, obviously, the numismatic value has been ruined on that. So as far as I'm concerned, it's just golden weight, which is basically what we paid for it. And it was interesting. It was. And then the last five things, we got some Ikes. We got lots of Ikes. And for some reason, Winning still doesn't understand why I've done it to this day. Why did you go after all those Ikes? Why did you go after 60% <laughs> copper? Well, it's because they have 40% silver in them. And I love my dollar coins up to the Eisenhower's. After that, the Susan B's, the Sacagaweas, the Native. I mean, they're made out of copper and all. You know, so I've decided what I'm going to do is chase down. There's 10 different styles of 40% silver Ikes that you can get. They made them in 71, 72, 73, 74, and 76, both in BU and a proof version. So what I have in front so far is a roll of 73s, a roll of 72 proofs, a roll of 76 proofs, a roll of 74 proofs, and a roll of 71 BUs. So I'm five down, five to go. We're going to make a series on these, do a little bit more explaining about the Ikes. And a coin I really feel often is underappreciated. I just never really thought that this coin ever got its respect. It had a very short run because people just didn't like it. And, uh, well, they went to the Susan B. Anthony afterwards, and then they really didn't like the dollar coin. So, I mean... I mean, people just, I think the last dollar silver coin ever really used heavily in circulation has to be the peace dollar. Because even these Ikes didn't use much. I mean, try, imagine trying to spend $20 of these and having 20 of these coins in your pocket. It just didn't make any sense. And so, I don't know. We'll dive into more of those when we come out with a short little series on these coins. Because I love my dollar coins. And really, for the most part, that gets you up to date. All right, it's going to bring this one to a close. Anything to add there, Winnie? No, except for my gold piece I can't find. That's oh, right back here. It's my gold piece. Thank you. Yes, that's winnings. Hey, that belongs in the stack. <laughs> that is my anniversary mm. present. It still goes into the stack, right? What's <laughs> mine is yours and yours is mine. That doesn't, that doesn't hold true right now? Huh. Hmm. All right, everyone. I have to let you go. We got some things to figure out here. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.